How's it going guys? My name's Graham and welcome to 50 Years. A little over a week ago I put out a video polling people out of a series of different games that I had. Which should I play next? A few people said maybe do 50 Years as kind of a longish one-off. And most everyone said do Gwent, the new Witcher card game, as an actual series, so that'll be coming as a series sometime soon. But for now, I want to try out 50 Years. I have no idea what a special game is, but I see that this is tied to the workshop and there's user-generated content, so that's pretty damn cool. I don't know a lot about the game, but the fact that there's user-generated content makes it feel like you can get a lot more for your money. From what I can understand, it's like a kingdom management game with some turn-based tactics, but it's really been boiled down and condensed into something very simplistic. My cat is being extra needy right now, so she's gonna join us for a little bit so that she quits fucking meowing in my face. You probably can't even see her on the camera, but she's just chilling in my lap right now. I don't want your purring just getting picked up by the microphone. <laughs> Alright, that's enough attention. I don't want your purring or your jingly bell picked up on the camera. The Americans, extra gold. The British, Forester's Huts for plus wood and faith. The Greeks, start game with the Minotaur's maze. That sounds cool. Hire Minotaurs for food? Do you mean hire or slaughter? Sell furs, random unit, wounded units retreat. <laughs> That's the special ability for the French, is that they run away? That's really just leaning on stereotypes, isn't it? There's the Celts, the Romans, the Byzantines, the Egyptians. I'm just gonna play as the Americans. I didn't. Just to show you that there's lots of options. I've, I've never played, I don't know, I'm not gonna read through every single different varying thing. I already have a peasant. Might as well hire one more so I can collect more gold. And I'll hire a swordsman to protect me? Scouting? Doesn't really look like there's anything I can do there right now. Can't afford any buildings, definitely just spent everything. So I'll go ahead and end the year. Oh yeah, I just, you're supposed to be trying to live for 50 years. You are attacked. I don't want to send peasants into battle. And I don't know if that's his or mine. I think that's him. I think he has one militia man. I think that's me. So I'm just going to send in my guy and he should win pretty easily, right? Because he basically just sent a peasant to attack me. Uh, yes. Extra faith for killing. All right. Not a bad start. Oh, we got to worry about food. I'm going to hire one more peasant in the hopes that, like, long term... That'll help me out. That'll rake in money faster. Oh, I already have these two things. So maybe I can buy something. I can buy more food. More faith. And then there's kind of tiers of things. So I, I need to get a forester's hut and a church going before I can worry about anything else. Ooh, this provides a lot of food. This provides food and gold. So I'll try that out. Probably going to want to hire more swordsmen just in case I get attacked again. Aha! Yeah! Good plan, right? So I guess it's kind of turn-based in its combat, but you don't actually control it. It just plays out taking turns. Kind of feels a little bit like Risk almost. Here's your army, here's mine. Do some like random rolls of attacks and defense, I guess. It just plays that out for you. I'm okay with that. I like the nice, quick, simple combat. The majority of the focus is on the kingdom management. Oh, each year? Am I auto-scouting? It's been six years, I've gone six along, that seems like that's what's happening. I'm not here, two peasants. Not enough food, ah damn it. <laughs> and I can't build a farm. Poor spending overall. Let's get that chicken farm and another, another peasant up and running. The scouts have discovered the chicken devil's altar. What in the shit? What the hell does that even mean? Yeah, we better deal with that. You don't want to let that just happen. Deal transformation. Chicken Devil gives you scroll of transformation, but he will take your soul in exchange. All units in the enemy's army turn into zombie chickens. What? That's not what I was expecting. Kill him. Chicken Devil will kill a random enemy unit before each battle starts, but the devil will take your soul later. <laughs> or banish the devil. I think I'd like to keep my soul for now, because I don't know whether or not that's important at this point in time. Just to be safe, I think I'll hang on to it. I kind of like my soul. Yeah, jack up the peasants. I want to break in as much money as I can possibly manage. Oh uh, yeah, deal with it, man. Three on one. I've been building militia this whole time. 
killing an actual fighter instead of just a peasant. You get all kinds of faith. Den was found. The poacher's camp. Archers for free forest hut. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know if this was wise. Will not be able to mine gold this year, but he will return to the mines next year if he survives. This might not have been wise, because they can shoot at me the whole time I'm running at them, so I'm calling in the militia as well. <laughs> just fuck it. They might as well come and help me out. I just hope they don't auto-target the militia. Oh, good. Good, good, good. They're targeting the swordsmen. I might get away without losing anything. I can't believe that worked. That's really felt like it shouldn't have worked in my favor there. Free Forester's Hut? So what if you don't mine any gold? I killed a bunch of shit, got some faith. Look at that, nearly max faith. Free Forester's Hut. Well, I don't want the militia anymore. How do I call off the militia? Oh good, good. They're running and attacking the swordsmen primarily. Faith gained 59? Pretty sure I already maxed that shit out. Oh, okay, now we get to choose a belief. At the beginning of the battle, two random units in the army get plus 20 health, plus two food from chicken farms. Peasants mine 10% gold, 500 gold at once. Three foresters huts for free, foresters huts give more food. Two swordsmen join the army, and militia have more health. The last two killed units will be revived after each battle. I like the sounds of that, but I also like the extra food. Uh... Let's just go with the one that'll make us rich. <laughs> and we'll build the church while we're at it. Then we can, the more churches we have, the more we can uh, work towards upgrading more faith things. Ah, shit. Get another chicken farm. Ah, come on. All right, end of the year. Now we can do things. Chicken farm, peasant, peasant, and end the year. Probably gonna have to buy another barracks right away here. I want these battles to be as in my favor as humanly possible. Go ahead and upgrade that. It costs more each time, so it's not necessarily just building a new one, it's it's upgrading the one you have. And we'll just add on to that then. Well, suddenly I'm just fighting weaker and weaker matches of opponents. Oh, I'm gonna be able to upgrade more faith next year. Only on year 14. Feels like things are going well. Allows paladin training. They're taken from the knights. Training costs faith. Uh, nothing else. I can't get anything else until I get that. Ooh, a stable. Allows knights to be hired. I can get that before the monastery. I should do that then. Shooting ground allows archers to be hired. Costs 100 wood. I don't think I have any wood. I have zero wood. Where am I supposed to be getting wood from? Why does the forester's hut not give wood? Well, I think I'll just get a stable next time around, then. 10 gold per year per each unit and plus 5 food? I'm gonna get this one for the extra forester's huts for free and so that I get a ton more food overall, so it's something I don't have to worry about for the next while. Let's go ahead and get a stable, though. I can't quite hire a knight. Alright, I'll just get one more swordsman and next time I'll get a knight. Cool. I'm excited about having a knight. I'm gonna upgrade that church as well. Get, like, an absurd amount of faith each year. I think that was a good decision overall. Oh cool, my knight's a badass. Does more damage, more courage, more health. Cool. And they they have the they have like the same stats as my guys. I just wanted to double check and see if there was something get in there, knight. What the hell are you doing? I wanted to see if there was something going on that was like tipping this in the favor of the computers, but maybe that's only- Oh, I did lose a swordsman, son of a bitch. Well, I'm definitely gonna upgrade that thing that lets me get guys back. I, maybe if I was playing on one of the hard difficulties rather than normal, that would be the case. Scouting? I'm- I've kind of forgot about that for the time being, but scouting is just about advanced to the next thing. I'll just leave that one more year, and then next time- Ah, shit, I gotta do a battle first. Uh, I should be set. They have no knights. They got like a militia. They're stupid. I don't know where the hell to get wood. Ah, someone's gonna die. I feel like I'm definitely gonna lose at least one guy. One? Just one swordsman lost? It's not bad. I got a shitload of faith from that. Alright, I want this thing. So the last two units will be revived after each battle. Yeah. Den was found, foggy swamp, and lost mine. I found two different things. There's a hydra. If all of your units die in the battle, the Hydra appears on your side. If all my units die? I have no idea. I have no idea what, how that works. 
looks like a difficult battle, but the reward is a lot of gold. Don't really want to mess with that just yet. Get a monastery, get a crazy, like, faith boost. Oh, you got to spend faith on paladins, that's right. Uh, next. Next round. Fuck, I didn't want to go straight into another battle again. I feel like I should be able to deal with this one quite easily, though. Ooh, he almost got that swordsman. Alright, well, if they're gonna be throwing knights at me, I'm, I'm jacking up to a paladin then. There we go, look at that, look at those ranks. Yeah, you wanna fuck with me now? Doubt it. Get in there, paladin, what the fuck are you doing? You didn't even do anything, you idiot. The cathedral lets you train exorcists? That's fucking weird. The cow shed, plus one food per year. That seems incredibly useful. Well, of course I'm hiring a minotaur as soon as humanly possible. That's coming up right away. Minotaur's maze? Yes, please. Ah, oh, you're so expensive to hire. Ah, oh, you're so, oh, it's so close to being able to buy one. Damn it. Oh, I was hoping I could hire one before my next battle. Uh, we'll see how this plays out. Maybe I don't quite need the minotaur just yet. Even if I don't need him, I'm buying him right away. That's for sure happening. Did no one die? Did I lose no one? Ah, I lost a swordsman, but he comes back. I get him back. Yeah. Oh, 200 wood per year from lumber mills. Now I can get wood, right? And you're 25. Halfway through. Halfway through this whole thing. Ah, less wood, but... Less gold, but more wood. That... That makes sense, I guess. Hire my minotaur. I'm only allowed one because I only have the one maze. I can expand it and get another one. I'll just stick with the one for now. Start getting wood income. Shooting ground, allow archers to be trained. Oh shit, I gotta let one year pass. Oh, now that the wood's here, it kind of squishes things off to the side and my faith doesn't read properly. Two minutes are as well. I guess we'll get a good like example of how strong these things actually are. He annihilated that one swordsman. The one minotaur and minotaur worked out all right though. Two swordsmen down, I should get them back. Oh, is a swordsman a knight? I'm really glad that they came back to me then. Oh, look, it adjusted the uh, thing at the top there. Okay, now I can get a shooting ground, right? Perfect. And I can hire one archer. And a knight. And you're gonna upgrade to a paladin. I wanna make sure I have a nice, like, very strong bolstered force here. Like, this would just be a joke at this point. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna upgrade the cow shed so I get more food per year. Upgrade the barracks so I can hire more of these guys. Because it looks like I'm fighting basically yearly at this point. Oh, why have I not upgraded the town hall yet? I can get more peasants and get an absurd amount more gold. I'm a fool! Buy another chicken cart so that I can sustain myself with food. Ah, maybe I should have bought another cow shed. Oh well, just hire hire a few more peasants. Plus 10 gold per year for each unit. I have a fuckload of units, so that could be really useful for me. Now I'll upgrade the cow shed and hire a peasant. That worked out splendidly. Might as well hire all the archers that I can. Hire a couple more peasants. I sh I'm gonna upgrade the church next time or anything that'll get me more faith. I'm really struggling to gain faith here at this point. This thing gives you 200 faith per year. That's pretty awesome, but I don't know what the fucking exorcist is or why I would want it. Mm, I have so much wood. I might as well do that so I can hire a druid. And I might as well just buy a druid right now. Don't really know what the druid does. Oh shit. Oh, hey, these battles are getting a little more difficult. Turn into a tiger. Druid turns into a tiger. If the tiger survives the battle, he will leave to live in the forest. Uh, yeah, turn into a tiger. I want to have a fucking tiger on my team. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm definitely going to lose more than two units in this round, I think. This is not going well overall. Oh, God, I hope some of my strong units are some of the last things to have died. The Minotaur lived? Wow. Wow, that did not go well. Two swordsmen is what I get back? Fuck. 
<laughs> that's not that was not a good round for me. One night, jack up some swordsmen. Paladins. Ah, shit. That was fucked. I was not prepared for that to go so poorly. Barracks so I can get more swordsmen. Fuck. I didn't want to have to fight again so soon. Oh, he's got so many knights. Oh, I'm probably totally fucked, aren't I? Turned into a tiger again. I might as well. Oh, come on. Every Don't don't all attack the Minotaur at once. He's, he's just saying that he's just a solid wall. He's just fighting things one at a time here. Oh, I'm totally going to lose. All the battles were so, so easy, and then all of a sudden it was so, so hard. I only lived for 35 years. Damn. I really thought things were going so well for me. I thought, wow, there's a chance I might actually live for 50 years. I'm curious what some of the user-generated content is. Uh, it looks like I would have to go download some stuff from the workshop. And for whatever reason, I'm getting communication errors. So unfortunately, I can't look at that right now. But that's cool. I like that there's user-generated stuff. The game was more interesting than I expected. I do like these kingdom management sort, sort of games, but uh, I feel it would be repetitive even if I tried the different classes out and everything. From like a personal standpoint, playing it by yourself just for the fun of it, then that might not be particularly repeti repetitive, but for recording and playing it for the channel, I can see that getting a little bit repetitive. Misty just wandered back into the room so she can hang out with me for the end of the video. Hey, how you doing? Wow, she hates that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, kitty. I'll hold you like a normal person now. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. 50 years, just like I said I would. Doing it as a, as a one-off. And next up, I'm going to be doing Gwent as a series, hopefully. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.